Hello, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 349. That is, what is decision coverage testing? Let me answer. So, what is decision coverage testing? Testing the decision outcomes in a program is known as decision coverage testing. I am going to explain this statement with an example so that you can understand easily. It falls into the white box testing category where developers will be performing this decision coverage testing by testing the total decision outcomes in the program. Okay, so here is a sample program guys as you can see. Okay, so here only one decision is there. One condition is there or one condition expression is there. It will result in either true or false. Okay, the total outcome of this particular Okay, condition expression or decision, whatever you call. Okay, here in this program, only one decision uh, place is there and it will result either in true or false. If it is true, this if, if block will be executed. Otherwise, else block will be executed. That means when you call this method and pass one, two here, uh, A will, one will go into A and two will go into B. One greater than two is false. So it will go in this direction. So code coverage wise, else block got covered, but this part didn't get covered. So how many total decision outcomes we have tested so far with this one, two, only one. Okay. Okay. Only one, but how many are possible? True is possible. Okay. True, true outcome is possible. False outcome is possible. Total possible outcomes are two, but only tested ones are one. Okay. One by two into hundred fifty percent decision coverage has been done. So only one test case we have executed as part of decision coverage testing. Now what I will do is I'll just change it to two one. Two will go into A, one will go into B, two greater than one is true. And this will, uh, this will, if block will get executed, A is greater than B will be printed. So now total possible outcomes are two from this decision statement and total tested are also two. Two divided by two into 100, that is 100% we have done the decision coverage testing. So hope guys you understood what is decision coverage testing. Okay, where we exercise or check or test the decision outcomes in the program. Here in this program only one decision outcome is there, but uh, in real programs there may be many decision outcomes. Okay, based on that uh, we need to perform testing. Okay, that much amount of testing need to be performed based on the number of decision outcomes in the program. Okay, so this is what is decision coverage testing. So hope guys you understood what is decision coverage testing in this session. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.